The finale of season seven. We may have crowned Ferrari Nut as the champion, but another race win is on the line. Welcome to the Brazilian Grand Prix. And I'll tell you what, guys, it's going to be a fun race. It looks like we might have a little weather happening here, but uh, it's going to be fun. We have a short field. I'm curious to see how these guys will do tonight. Ferrari Nut is the champion, but we'll see how it goes. Evan, I see you out there. How you doing tonight? Qualifying is underway. We'll go over to Shames. Take a look at him. Uh, Fireball Hamlin says, I can't make it to the race tonight, but good luck to everyone in the race. I will be missing you out here. Hope everything's going well for you. It looks like we might have RC action in the booth. How you doing, RC? We'll see if he can't get in here. Doing good. All right. I just sent you an invite to the game. Uh, in practice, though, these guys, very similar times. We had Z46. He had the fastest out there with a 109.6 and Ferrari Nut, who had a 109.9. .9. Now, I know Ferrari Nut, he was talking about perhaps starting in the rear of the field to try to make things a little interesting. He's got a championship that he's already won. Uh, so he kind of wanted to give a little gamble to this race. We'll see how that goes. And I know Z is still looking for his first win. We'll see if that happens. Uh, a lot of people are retiring, though. So I'm kind of curious if we get another driver who is perhaps joining. Evan, I'm doing good. I hope you are, too. See if uh, they're talking about starting over or what's going on here. RC, do you have uh, any challenging spots for tonight's race? The only really challenging spot in tonight's race is going to keep a consistent sector two. As long as you can keep that consistent and definitely not hit some of the curbs with one out tire then you'll be great but other than that it should be a smooth flow towing track tonight interesting yeah i know sector two is the more windier spot i mean one in three is going to be very fast paced but you can lose or gain a lot of time in sector two so i'm curious how they'll be able to move her through that but uh sober david of 109.6 which was the fastest time out there in practice. So qualifying, he is looking extremely fast out there. Great to see his teammate Shames right behind uh, with a 111.4. We'll see what kind of gains that he can make. But with Dion and Hokey fan not in the lobby, I'm kind of wondering if they will be restarting uh, the lobby for tonight. possible that's for sure but we're just right now just for just wanting to see who can put up the fastest time and right now David put up a good time so let's see if anybody in here can beat that right now leave Justin very close a 109.959 so a couple of 109s out there it's going to be extremely close like I said that was uh, indeed the fastest laps out there in practice our second fastest lap was Ferrari Nut with a 109.9, which you can see Justin had out there, but uh, Z already making the lap time out there with a 108.9. So he is fastest on the board so far. J Mac a 110.6. And uh, yeah, that's the only other one up there at the moment as Sober David is in the pits. And uh, Shames, he's still out there. J Mac, Justin, and Z. Do you think we're going to have any rain tonight? I'm not even sure if we're going to be staying in this lobby, but if we do, looks like we could perhaps see some rain. There's a historical chance about of a 90%, so it's possible. But 
tonight, I got a feeling we're going to see a little bit of it. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of it. That's just the way the season has went up to this point. So if we do, I don't think it's going to be a big contributing factor to the race and what it possibly can be. Sober David, who is one of the drivers out on track, says rain is predicted for the race. David, let me know. Are you guys uh, restarting the lobby? I see Dion not in there and Hokey fan. Just curious if you guys are restarting or uh, if everything is a go. Thirty-six laps for tonight, though, is going to be uh, kind of I, I don't know. I'm hearing from a couple of drivers they might have a different strategy and one tire combo that has not really been seen this season. So uh, with the change in how many drivers that we have for tonight's race, I'm curious, will they still go out there with this strategy or will they kind of go back to a regular strategy and uh, to keep up pace with everyone else? I, I don't know. It is, it's the final race. I know some of the guys want to play around and see what can happen. So we'll see what they do. Saying that it is the final race, I mean, you can play around and have fun all you want to because this is the final race of this game that we're going to have. With that said, it's time to start looking forward to Season 8 and how those cars deal with. And I know for sure, well, as of right now, those cars don't like the grass too much. Uh, you can spin out on the grass just by touching it a little bit on used tires. So the faster that you can get on there and get ready for the next season the better you can get uh speed wise because that that one's a whole different ball game than this one and i think it's very going it's going to very change up the the running order in season eight compared to what we have now because frozen i've had right uh right tires wore, wear out more than my left sides i've had my rears uh, wear out more than my front so right now 24 is a whole lot more dynamic as far as tire wear goes so i'd be expecting to see uh, a lot of conserving tires keeping making sure that those tires are nice and well preserved because that's definitely something that you need to do on that game so let's have fun tonight there's only one championship I think is still up for play, which is the Constructors ch uh, title. But other than that, it's pretty much a bon voyage celebration tonight for F123. You know, we do have a lot of points battles, though. We can't forget about those. So uh, a lot of positions up for grabs. I know Z is going to be extremely close with Slurp, but Slurp is not here tonight. So not much to do with that if he's unable to show. We also have uh, quite the battle, JC and Justin, who JC is unable to be here tonight. So these, those two are tied. Justin would definitely pass him up. That is a tie for eighth. So that would put uh, Justin in that eighth spot and JC in ninth. We also have Sober David, who is very close to Sky. Uh, unfortunately, Sky is not here. So just uh, a lot of different battles that are going on here. But constructor standings still up for grabs. As far as that goes, Alpha Tori with 328, and that's going to be Ferrari Nut. Williams is going to be Z46. We've got 317. Very, very close for these drivers. Maddie, what's up? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Repeat is out here. He says, after Sunday's TDFW race, I told everyone to make sure they followed you and caught Monday night's championship race. <laughs> you forgot the season is over. Right? How crazy is that? I, all these seasons ending. It's crazy, Repeat. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> it is the thought that counts. You're you're so awesome. I hope uh, your vacation was good. And uh, we got another st season starting up very shortly. In the meantime, just under eight minutes left in Quali. And uh, Z46 still at the top of the board with a 108.9. Ferrari nut still has yet to put a lap time down. Kind of interesting. It's been a day, Maddie says. Oh man, hopefully it goes a little bit better. 
Uh, I just saw Jacob join. We can get him in here. 8-5. Yes, it has. It's August 5th. Daytona. I believe 19 races. I'd have to double check that, but it's a, f it's a full schedule. It'll be fun. Uh, Xfinity series, so a whole different series out here. Jacob Kerr goes right to the top with a 108.6. Three tenths faster than Z46, so Kerr putting out that time for this final race out here at Brazil. We'll see what he can do. I know Z is still looking for his first win. I asked him tonight, said, do you think you're going to get it tonight? And he said, I don't know, but uh, hopefully I can. Well, it's definitely going to be a good uh, chance of it tonight. I mean, you got Ferrari. You got 46. That's really the only ones you need to worry about tonight. If you can get a better, if you can get a great performance tonight, and come out on top that's one way to end it but speaking of he's got the fastest race time at this track at a 108662 so he can definitely get it done that's for sure the question is going to be can he keep those lap times competitive to the top two other drivers that he's facing tonight very interesting yeah that's I know a couple of drivers were saying, though, with Ferrari not, not he's starting in the back. That's his plan. So that is why he's probably still on pit lane. Uh, but the thing is, they were planning on having a lot more drivers between Ferrari nut and Z. So do you think it's possible for Ferrari nut to uh, take that over pretty quickly and come back to the lead? Or do you think it's going to be a little bit of a struggle? Depends on the battle. Yeah. I mean, it can be as quick as possible, or that uh, Alpha Tar can be so fast that by we go down to the sector two, he's already up in second for all we know. But uh, we'll see how fast that car is. It wouldn't surprise me uh, if that car can get up to second like it's nobody's business. So we'll see. Anything can happen in F1. Anything can happen in racing in general. We'll just have to see it to believe it. Absolutely. And add in a little bit of rain, and it could make things very interesting. I know the strategies that the driver's reporting on, uh, if the rain hits, it's going to go down the drain, and they'll have to choose a whole different strategy. And, you know, if uh, a safety car comes out, that will obviously switch things up. But J-Mac on a fastest sector two. So that's great for him. We'll see if his lap time improves from a 110.2. And there it goes. It was a 110.6. Now it is a 0 0.2. Uh, Repeat says, I don't report to Rochester until uh, February 1st. So that, that I feel like that got pushed back a bit. That's uh, hopefully good news for you. But yeah, these guys are very, very close in time. Two 108s, two 109s, and two 110s. And we do have Jacob on the board. Uh, so we'll see if he puts down a lap time also. It's funny because I was not expecting uh, this short of a field. We've had all the way up to like almost, what, 19, 20 drivers? At one yeah, point. same here, which kind of throw me off a little bit. <laughs> uh, well, we had a last yeah. year. Last year, I mean, we had a good field here, <clears throat> and actually, our fastest lap in, during the race came from JC, who's not here. So I figured he might have been here, but unfortunately not. But uh. Brazil is a fun racetrack. It's not one that you want to miss out on. I mean, it's not like a huge crown jewel event like uh, Monaco is, but it's, it's got its own thing going for it. Absolutely. Uh, with the names that have drove and won this race. Stacka, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. Z improved that lap time to a 108.5. Kerr, 108.6. So these guys are kind of leapfrogging each other with those lap times, looking very solid out there. Uh, with rain predicted, though, that may change. The intermediates may go on or the wets, depending on how 
uh, how wet the track gets out there. We'll see how that goes. But right now, it is dry, and these guys are absolutely flying faster than what they did in practice. Stacker says, Brazil's not a favorite. The bumpy nature is not fun. You know what? I've talked to a lot of drivers, and some of them are saying it's like in their top three to five racetracks. Some of them are saying it's their absolute favorite. Let's see. Polish says, if there is any race for David to get his podium, this is it. I mean, he's sitting podium for lap times, currently 109.1. I am rooting for him, and I, I know a lot of you guys are, so let, let's hope we can get it for him. No jinxing. We got to knock on wood, right? <laughs> 46 Kerr and Ferrari night. He's going to have to beat one of those three to get there, but it is possible. Anything is possible, and, you know... Uh, Anything can happen. Turn one, lap one, it's always chaotic. Uh, I don't think we're going to see as much chaos with only 10. However, that may kind of trick these guys into thinking that they are safe and perhaps be a little bit more aggressive going to turn one, which in turn could lead to chaos. So we'll see what they do out here. But uh, Kerr's still on the track. Ferrari Nut keeping his strategy, saying, I'm going to start in the rear of the field. And we just have just over a minute left on the board for qualifying and so far z46 will be the leader and uh, be on pole so while we're doing that it's time for the rc stats brazil 36 laps tonight frozen a 4.309 kilometer track lap record for irl is a 110.540 set by Valtteri Bottas in 2018 in that Mercedes machine. Qualifying time for Shake and Bake is going to be a 107.486, set by Mayer in Season 5. Wow. And then, as I mentioned before, Kerr, slash Ranger, set the fastest racing time at a 108.662, also in Season 5. 15 turns, 9 to the left, 6 to the right. Hit speed. I did not grab that statistic. It's probably 60 to 80, as it usually is. But green green flag pit stop loss is going to be 22 seconds on green flags, and it's going to be 15 for the safety car or virtual safety car. The historic chance of a safety car has been 100%. I doubt we're going to have that tonight, Frozen, seeing that we only have 10 cars, but... Again, anything can happen. <laughs> the so fall off degradation tonight is going to be a 0 0.07 seconds for the softs. That's probably the lowest that the softs has had all season long. I'd have to go back and double check that. But mediums with a 0 0.05 second loss and then the hards with a 0 0.03 second loss. So it's going to depend on how you uh, really want to dig those tires into the ground tonight because the lowest amount of dire, uh, tire degradation loss tonight. We'll see, but Z is going to be on pole. Kerr is going to be in second. That looked like Sober David in third. Justin is going to be in fourth as we get ready to hit our formation lap here. Uh, Polish, yes, I believe so. We have 10 drivers finishing out. The finale here, Z is on pole, Kerr in second, Sober David in third, Leaf Justin going to be in fourth, J Mac and that Mercedes uh, in fifth, sixth is going to be Jacob from McLaren, seventh is Ono oh at Shames, Dion in eighth, Hokey Fan in ninth, and Ferrari Nut, he's going to start from the rear for that Alpha Tori. He has the championship, but there is still a last race win to uh, grab so uh, all 10 of these drivers are hoping to make it happen especially z who has been trying to get that win and it just hasn't happened yet i want to know is tonight gonna be that night i'm anxious to find out we already obliterated um i think we're going to obliterate the race time tonight that's what I think. I think we're going to be nice, close, and very fast. If we proved anything in preseason, 
I think we're going to have a string of cars tonight. We only got 10 of them. I don't see many cars falling off the top, uh, falling off that much. But it should be a nice, close, tight race, even with 10 cars tonight. I agree. I think it very well could be. I think if the rain hits, it, it could kind of vary things up a little bit. But uh, with a shorter field, I think we're going to see a lot faster times. Uh, they're not going to have to worry about so much of the drivers around them. I think they're going to have a little bit of space between them to be able to run the line that they need. But sector two is going to be a sector that we need to watch out for. And from what I've understood, uh, watching some of these guys in practice, sector one, some of the curbs have been causing issue. So we'll see how they can maneuver with that. Oh, we already have a car into the wall. <laughs> uh, we said anything is possible bro, <laughs> all right so it <laughs> i don't think that's the way he saw that happening uh yeah so is he out of the so race either. or is he gonna be able to race uh, he should be able to race Hopefully he ain't got any damage on that car. I haven't really tested that, but oh we'll find my out. Gosh. Yeah. Maddie, I'm I'm with you. What there's what what can you say after that? All I see is is uh rear of the car right into the wall. <laughs> you can see Z leading the field on the formation lap. Coming around the final couple of corners. Thirty-six laps tonight. It should go fairly quickly. As long as we don't have uh, too many experiences like what we just saw, but these guys are getting ready to grit up as they are uh, coming up to the box. <laughs> there you see, uh, I believe that's going to be J-Mac. The drivers having some issue. Okay, fan didn't get a good spot. Justin, they come around. Maddie, you should have been out here. Polish, yeah, we're missing a lot of drivers tonight. Some of them had vacation. Some of them had uh, family over and could not race. But here we go, waiting for the lights to go out. On board with Z46 as we wait, and uh, here we go, the final race of Season 7 here at Brazil. You can see two wide already. Kerr getting a lead over Z46, not what Z was hoping for, but Sober David holding down that third spot is going to lose it to Justin now. Jacob in fifth, and he takes over that spot for fourth. David falls down two spots. Driver sitting on the softs, which is going to be Ferrari Nut and Dion. And there's only one soft hard tire, which is going to be 46. Who's having an issue? I don't see nobody. Oh, well, Dion's missing a front wing, so I say that was our issue. Yeah, Other we'll than that, it's just can... a straight file line. Her in the lead right here. You can see a single file line, Z46 in second. And I'll tell you what, I spoke to Ferrari not before the race, and he was saying uh, him and Z were planning on a whole different strategy. It looks like they have kind of gone from that strategy. And when I talked to Z, he said, you know what, with the amount of drivers that we have, I might switch that up. And it, it looks like he did, in fact, switch up a strategy because he was going to be on the softs. And take a look, the driver who decided not to qualify, he is already up in fourth currently, uh, about 0.6 behind Justin. So these drivers extremely close. Z is only in second, and he's looking for his first one of the season. Kerr's in the lead. If I was the top two, I'd start moving and moving fast because that Alpha Tari is coming up quick. So there's no time for playing around, boys. You got to go if you don't want him to be in the top two. Oh, he's trying to make his way around Leaf Justin, trying to find that perfect time as they're in sector two. The windiest part, and you could say most challenging,
part of the track is it's very brake heavy. We'll see how he manages to get around Justin as we head into sector three. Then he will have to start working on Z46. And I know Z is trying all he can to get that win tonight, but Kerr says, you know what? I want another win. So he is currently leading. Ferrari not gonna take that outside. Z gets the fastest lap here. These guys still side by side, heading into the first corner. That's gonna put Ferrari not on the outside. He is unable to make that pass just yet. If we get it coming down this turn, I've made a few passes coming into this turn. 46 ain't gonna take it as Ferrari Nut takes over Leaf Justin's position for third. 2.8 behind Z46, so Ferrari Nut has a little ways to go, but there is nothing in his way to stop him from catching up to Z, so Z really has to make something happen. It's just lap three of 36. Plenty of racing left, which I don't know if Z wants to see that. He wants to get far away from uh, Ferrari. Now, so does Kerr. Kerr wants another win. Uh, he's been trying to get this for a while. Looking really, really solid at this track so far. We'll see how his race goes. Those cops are going to catch up to them hard and mediums way before those hard and mediums wear out. So got to make sure that you keep it within the lines, nothing too crazy. Z takes over that lead from Kerr. Ferrari not still in third. Kerr goes down to second, and if Kerr does get this win tonight, that will be his third win of the season. If Ferrari not secures the final race, it will be his eighth win of the season. So uh, very, very competitive out here. He's done a tremendous job. It already has the championship. Uh, man, he's looking for another race win, but I know Z, her, and a couple others would love to see a win. See the difference in line that uh, Z took over Kerr into that corner. Z really hugging those lines going in. Her hugging that also, but man, the lines are looking really solid, but Ferrari Nut has closed that gap just over a second. So he is down to just under a second and a half between him and Kerr. He's going to have to hope that Kerr puts up quite the battle uh, so he keeps him away from Z. It's going to be a game of DRS here because it's going to bat. Half the car gets it, you know, he's going to put everything into it. So these boys better get ready for it because he's coming. Just over a second behind. Kerr is just point four behind. Let's take a look at some of the other battles. David, he is currently just behind Jacob. All over that back of that car right now. That's going to be the next battle. This will be for fifth. We'll see what Jacob can do out here. Sober David. Everyone's rooting for him to get a podium finish, and I can see a couple of raindrops are starting to fall. We can stay on the soft. We can stay on the dry tires for a little while once it starts to rain, but the question already starts to creep in the back of the head. When is it going to downpour? We'll get enough to where I have to change tires. That's going to be the name of the game as far as when the tires of soft to medium or to intermediate are going to start playing a factor. But we got a new leader. We do have a new leader. And man, what a move using that DRS. Passes two cars, goes from third to the lead. Ferrari Nut is our new leader, the only driver on the soft tires. We'll see. How that plays out for him with tire wear. Z is going to be right behind him on that hard tire. Kerr is going to be on the mediums along with the rest of the field. Z really sends it in there. Almost some contact, but manages to keep it off. I have to try to keep it up close to that Alphatari. If you want to try to get any DRS, if you're 46, he might be able to just do that this time around. But can he hold up to it? there's going to be a lot of factors come into play especially with this race 
tonight is going to be, is that rain going to keep him from getting too far ahead of us? So that's going to be the question, Frozen. Is this rain going to affect Ferrari and when everybody's going to go down pit lane at the same time compared to a gap's worth of time? Remember, there is constructor standings uh, where Ferrari not is just, I do believe, is 12 points over Z46. And uh, Z got in a little late here. So very interesting that it is that close for these drivers. But it is still a battle, and it is indeed uh, like 11 points. So he needs 12 to beat him out. Want to keep our eye on that. David, how you doing? I hope you're doing well out there. Six lap old tires, only three different tires and uh, one soft, one hard, and the rest are mediums and the rain is starting to come down. We'll see how long they can last on their tires currently. Probably not though. 0.6 out in front of the remainder of the drivers. Z in second, Kerr in third. We're going to have Justin in fourth. Jacob in fifth, Sober David in sixth, J Mac in seventh, point eight behind, Sober David, point one behind as he makes a move over uh, Jacob, who falls two spots. See if we can take a look at this battle currently. Side by side, there's going to be Jacob, uh, J Mac, and Sober David. Sober David falls another spot as Jacob takes that outside. So, quite the battle out here for fifth and six. Just whoever's leading the pack is going to be a sitting duck, unfortunately, going down these straights. Because especially when you got DRS involved, there's no way that you're going to be able to hold out. Unless you're a really good blocker. And that, I mean, we're not NASCAR here. I mean, we can't do what NASCAR does in, you know, Talladega. But you can block somewhat, but you got to do it right here in the formula one i don't know if you guys are looking at this battle but man oh man this is absolutely insane just side by side all the way through the s's and through all the winding corners these guys were just doing absolutely amazing jacob taking that a little wide on that curb still leading the uh leading this group out here p5 so doing a great job J-Mac going to be in the middle of this three-car sandwich with Sober David on the end of it. Doing a phenomenal job, but uh, meanwhile, Ferrari Nut is still leading the field. Z46 still right behind. Everything here is going to settle down a little bit because right now, what 46 cars just told me is the fact that I'm fast, but I can't pass him on the straight of the way. So if I'm 46 right now, I got to make sure that my front wing is right under the back tail light of that F1 car in front of me because I know I'll be able to pass him in. But it can be very tricky when you're going through sector two with the elevation changes and the turns that you have to go through. So he needs to really get up on him, stay up on him and get ready for when he needs to make his move going down the front stretch. Jacob gets his first penalty of the night, a three second penalty. And we saw him kind of testing those limits going over the curbs. And so he's going to have to calm that down a bit. And you can see he's falling back a bit from J Mac. And that is going to kind of hurt sober David as he's currently sitting behind him. You know, he's probably getting a little frustrated. We see a little wiggle from Jacob. Let's go back here with him. Uh, starting to get slick conditions from this rain, starting to come down a little more track is still pretty dry so it shouldn't be too terrible yet but these guys are starting to separate and that's the separation that rc was speaking about earlier uh meanwhile z he's still right behind but the remainder of these drivers the separation is definitely increasing if the, the preseason race showed us anything here it showed us that we're going to have some good tight racing in some spots. We're going to have separation in others. But it's going to be how the drivers really race together. We didn't have rain in that um, preseason race, if my memory serves me. But 
It's still going to be a great race, no, no matter what, because this is one of those tracks, Frozen, that just pr provides great racing. And, I mean, we're seeing it right now with some of the battles that we have right now. And, of course, Rain is the great equalizer. So, will that open up the door for Kerr to get back in here? We'll see. I mean, we haven't had that much race, uh, rain, rain racing. So, uh, maybe it will open up the doors for some people. But you can't be getting three-second penalties, 46. You just can't be doing that. Yeah, we've so. seen him plagued with penalties throughout the season, just absolutely taking any chance of a win away in contact between Sober David and J-Mac. J-Mac got a little loose, and Sober David had nowhere to go. So unfortunate to see here. Ah, uh, man. That obviously is going to separate these drivers. Might have to come in, repair some damage. Hokey fan, a three-second time penalty. That is now three drivers with a three-second time penalty. A lot of drivers are just getting spread out now. I mean, there's a gap between Jacob and J-Mac, and then you got uh, David, who's behind him. So everyone's pretty much spread out on their little own island besides our front two runners. Yeah, so unfortunate to see we have Hokey Fan just... Uh... Over a second behind James and David, who had that run in with J Mac, is about three seconds behind, and they lost so much time to Jacob, who currently sits fifth. So unfortunate. Yeah, you guys out in chat. Maddie says, No, so does Evan. I know. David, I'm sorry to hear uh, that you had to forfeit your racing. Your leg started hurting. I hope it feels better for you. Rain is starting to come down a little bit more. You can see the wetness on the track. Do you think uh, they might have to make a stop soon, perhaps? Ooh, five second penalty for David for speeding into pit lane. It's starting to creep in, right? I mean, if yeah. you can hang on to that car more uh, than anybody else, might as well go ahead and you stay out a lap or two. But it's definitely going to start slowing down times. You're not going to get the times that we've already had. So David comes in. Oh, Ferrari nut goes into the grass. Couldn't keep it on the... T okay, Lord have mercy game. You're giving me a heart attack. <laughs> uh, broke through a sign there. You have these drivers under pit lane. Three of them. Five second penalty. That's going to be eight seconds for Z. Like I said, he has been plagued with penalties this season, which has absolutely destroyed any chance of a win for him throughout a couple of races. And tonight, eight seconds on the board is definitely not going to help him. So unfortunate to see. Kerr goes back to the lead as he stays out on track, and Justin is going to be in second out there, but a few more drivers making their way back out on track. That incident was way worse on my side than it was on your side, that's for sure. But uh, it just shows that, you know, in wet conditions is no joke. I mean, you lose that car, you go sliding into the grass, and it could cost you your race if you can't get that thing moving. But unfortunately, we got all that situated as uh, Dion goes a lap down. It's just another wake up call for you to go hey yeah we haven't had much rain here but this is what i can do so again the great equalizer we're sitting here kerr's leading still hasn't went in leaf hasn't went in so the, i say they'll probably go in this lap or the next lap we'll see but yeah, kerr going in now right it's now. getting it's getting uh too wet out there for them to continue to give consistent laps. We have our second coming in. Uh, and I do believe Jay Mack will, you know what? He sometimes stays out longer than I think he ever will. So uh, with how wet this track is getting, you can see the spray coming off the back of the tires. I would think uh, we'll see right here. Yeah, here it comes. Dustin goes on the intermediates. He will more than likely go on the intermediates for Jay Mack also and Ferrari Nut. Back to the lead, and he is one of the few drivers without a penalty. Z still has the penalties. Kerr, Justin, J-Mac without penalty. But uh, this is definitely going to hurt Z's 
uh, hope for a win. Luckily, there was enough uh, of a gap between Kerr and J Mac that there wasn't a double stack. I mean, we haven't seen that uh, a lot here in this season, but double stacking can hurt a team in this output because there's only one stall for two drivers. So you never want to try to double stack. Make sure that your teammate knows when you're going in. That way they can stay out another lap and not double stack. So good thing we didn't see one today. Hopefully we have it. We won't see one for the rest of the race, but it's always a possibility because you might need to change tires really quickly and then next thing you know, your teammates in there didn't tell you about it and now here you are waiting for him to leave the pit. So luckily we haven't seen that this season and hopefully we don't see it uh, for the rest of this race today. He was in the lead, made a pass over Ferrari Nut, but uh, Ferrari Nut has since taken that back. Not that it's going to matter if the race ended right now. Uh, even if Z was out front, he's got that eight second penalty. So unfortunate to see here, but uh, rain is definitely a thing. Jacob, three second time penalty for him. Only four drivers, uh, five drivers left that have not received a penalty. That is half the field has a penalty currently. It just shows the, the difficulty of wet versus dry. A whole lot more drivers getting that wet track penalty compared to their dry track penalty. The RS was disabled. But take a look at the gap between all these drivers. I mean, this is going to be the closest battle out here right now, and it's going to be Z and Ferrari Nut. So that is going to be the closest right there. Kerr is about 5.8 behind. Justin sitting P4. It's going to be 14 seconds behind. And Jacob, who had an amazing battle with J Mac and Sober David earlier on, uh, before the contact between J Mac and Sober David happened, those three. Very, very close. They are now separated by uh, about 10 seconds and seven seconds. So quite the gap between those drivers. And then Hokie fan, 6.3 behind. He currently sits P8. Oh no, it's Shames in ninth. And Dion, uh, he's out on his own little island sitting in 10th. Maddie, I don't even know that I've driven in rain, to be honest. <laughs> I have to grab pictures of the winner, but uh, actual driving, I don't think I have. I have to get you to do a little rain wet, wet rain wet, wet. <laughs> Easy for you I to say. I can't speak today. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to get you on track when it's raining to see how you do. But uh, a lot of slipping and sliding, as you can imagine. Uh, it, it can be fun, depending on the track. This one, I always have fun racing in rain, but obviously something that you don't want to do when you have a faster dry setup than your wet setup, but that's neither here nor there, but, uh, these open wheel cars are, and are, are fun to drive regardless rain or, or dry. And, uh, depending on the track, it's better if you've raced in the rain, because it gives you a whole lot better, uh, uh, racing than it does in the dry, but that's, that's going to be objective uh, objectively uh to each person so but Absolutely. rain love to see it uh doesn't damper my spirits too much uh when it comes to f1 racing so uh hopefully some of these battles can get a little bit going back up again but i'm not thinking that it's going to happen even in our front two runners here has gotten a gap between each other yeah, almost to two seconds. We saw a little fish tail from Kerr as uh, he's coming off the exit there. So, you know, it's definitely loose out here. And I'll tell you what, I did a Forza race. I forget what cars, uh, but man, we it was full rain. It was on a tiny track, just some random track we tr chose. And it was so slippery, but so much fun. But, uh... <sighs> If I think of it, I'll have to tell you, but it's definitely not open wheel racing. Totally different, but a lot of fun. 
I haven't done much rain work. Rain work. Oh lordy, how mercy if I can not say that. I just learned something tonight. Anyway, I have not raced a bunch of rain racing in the 24 games, so I'll have to see how that goes along. We got someone. Don't know. Ferrari, Ferrari nut it was. Okay. Lost a position. As we got our sixth driver going into penalty box, which is going to be Dion. But don't let the rain fool you. It can get you out of ways. It can get you that uh, penalty. The FIA don't care if you have a, a big old gorilla sitting on top of your car, sticking your car back and forth. If you go out of limits, you go out of limits. That's one of the going to penalize you. So whatever the condition is, make sure you control that car regardless. But yeah, as far as r racing in the rain, I haven't had too much uh, experience in 24. Yeah. That was a good thing pass going into turn, turns one and two there to really make any comments on it. But I, I tell you, I was racing in Australia. My dry tires were wearing out. It was about 10, 11 laps old tires at that point. I touched the grass by a centimeter frozen and I was I was like, hey, when did I, when was I driving on ice? Because my car turned around so fast. <laughs> on me so once yeah. this gets done drivers who are going to participate next season you better strap in and get ready to learn a lot because it is different the tire models are going to be different i mean like i said at saudi arabia my right side tires were chewed up before the left sides even hit, reached halfway of their life cycle so it's going to be different per track, and that's going to be fun to see. I have to see how the rain goes, because right now I haven't done it. But um, a lot to look forward to after this uh, podium celebration tonight gets finished. Absolutely. And I'll, I'll tell you what, Ferrari Nut is looking extremely loose out here, especially in Sector 2 with the elevation changes and uh, braking zones getting very loose out here. You can see these guys side by side. Once again, Z is going to take over that lead once again as they head into sector two. But man, oh man, it is getting very close. You can tell Ferrari Nut is not exactly uh, comfortable. It's not an easy ride for him whatsoever at the moment. But these guys doing really well. And that has allowed Kerr to catch up to him. Take a look. Just under two seconds. So starting to close that gap down as uh, Ferrari Nut had an issue earlier on and he made that pass for the lead. Unlike 46, Kerr has no penalties. So that's definitely going to play a big factor for Ferrari Nut if he can get around that Williams. But it just shows that, again, that's why they call it the great equalizer. They were leaving her behind but now since this rain has come in slowed these two cars down and they're battling which is making them even slower Kerr has now caught back up with these two yeah he sure has and these guys keep battling back and forth then De definitely helping uh Kerr catch up to them and mike i see you out there thank you so much i appreciate it silent how are you hope you're doing well rainy race the finale for season seven talking about doing an off-season league and these two just going back and forth z thinks about it changes his mind and then says you know what let's go for it side by side probably not gonna have that nose out he's gonna be on the inside heading into this corner z is not gonna have enough so ferrari nut is gonna hold on to that lead Z takes the inside. They are making things very interesting. Take a look at how close this is. What a battle out here. I'm just going to ignore the eight second penalty, okay? Just going to ignore that one. Okay, that's a good way of looking at it. <laughs> Until, you know, it's the final lap and then 46 and then loses reality up the line hits. because of it. Yeah. But uh, now these two are battling it out. It's great to see here on the very last race of the season and you know and for me being uh, and I'm going to go back to that well again Frozen to see where we're going to be at on 24 I think this is going to be a very great 
to see this type of racing on 24. The ability to switch your ERS mode from hot lap to overtake to none to medium and then, you know, having DRS available after the first lap. So many variables to play. And if we have a field like we have this season uh, with Slurp oh. and 46 being available, then yeah. we're going to have one heck of a season eight. Oh, absolutely. My concern, though, with uh, 2024 is the handling of it. I know a couple of drivers are saying, you know, it's it's just not fun to drive right now. It handles totally different, not how you would expect it. It was supposed to be better handling. They're saying it's worse than this. So a lot of drivers unhappy at the moment, saying that if we stayed with this game, they would be happy and take a look. We have quite a bit of a traffic jam happening right now. Ferrari Nut does have a three second time penalty. We're on board with Z, who's in second. That is Ferrari Nut directly ahead of him. And man, Kerr looks like he is getting super loose back here and he is uh, battling it out with another driver, but it is not for position. That is in ghosted car as they are a lap down. Which makes it three cars that are officially they lap down but kind of expected for those three with how they've been running today <laughs> with all the accidents that they've had beyond missing the front wing shame he's just hasn't got a full grip of this track it seems like today Pokey, he had a couple of accidents that led him months. to being in P9. I'm doing good frozen cheers to three but months frozen one hype. Frozen our non-penalty group has fallen down to four racers. And here it is in the rain. So if you can stay penalty free throughout the rain part of this race, yeah, hats off to you because that's quite accomplishment. Especially so when it true. comes to the downhills of Brazil. Absolutely. Silen, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Three months. Let's go. Absolutely. I'm glad you're doing good. But these drivers take a look. We're on board with Z46. We do have a caution out in sector two. Looks like there is a driver perhaps just sitting there. Let's see if we can find out. Stuck. Yeah, it's going to be Shames and he is He's stuck. He's driving, oh, but not very well. well. Hopefully he can make his way back to pit lane. It's a little bit of a drive there, but uh, he'll have to gingerly take that. Kerr, three second time penalty, but Z is still gonna take the cake with that eight seconds. Gonna harm him uh, for that win, but uh, Ferrari Nut and Kerr gonna have to keep those penalties at bay in order to keep their positions. Justin is about 24 seconds behind, but one of the only drivers left without penalty. Well, right now is in a good spot. He's got to hope that Ferrari Nut makes another mistake to where he can get first place without being in first place. But with Ferrari, that's like asking a horse to drink water when it doesn't want to drink water. So the fact that you have to base uh, you race off of somebody else making a mistake. Not the solid cards in your hands, but it's, it's one that you can definitely hold. But Kerr does need to get around 46, and he starts making uh, progress regardless. 46 is coming in. This hopefully he doesn't. Yeah, that's uh, what I thought. Came in too hot. Another five seconds were added to oh, his man. penalty list. No, Z, no, say it ain't so. You hate to see it. I mean, we've been rooting him on to a win this entire season, and uh, somehow just keeps getting those penalties and just uh, little mistakes here and there. So, uh, you know, I, I would love to see him get a win. If he, I hope to see him back next season, and I'm still saying he's going to get a win. Maybe next season. I, I know, Maddie, you're killing me, Z. Come on, Z, we got this. Uh, but yeah, it's tough. It's rain. It's the elevation change is no joke. I raced on here several laps earlier tonight and uh, the elevation changes is kind of constant throughout here and add rain into the mix. You're going to be slipping and sliding. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but when we had this on board with Kerr, 
He had four or five drivers and these guys were on top of each other. I don't know how they uh, kept it clean. I know some of them were ghosted, but not all of them. That, that's a tough, tough thing to accomplish. Uh, but here we go. Kerr makes his way into pit lane. Ferrari nut. He is in pit lane. Z is going to be 23 seconds behind. We'll see what kind of tires. Still intermediates. See how they go. Still way too wet for, um, well, let me correct myself on that. It's not wet enough for the wets, but it's not dry enough for the dries. So yeah, um, intermediate still the tire to go. And it might be the way to go for the rest of this race. I would love to see those blue sets of tires go on those cars, but uh, it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. But 46 made up a lot of time though. He comes out pretty much right behind our leaders uh, as they came out of the pits. He did, but he's he's got to hope these drivers just stack up the penalties. They're going to need at least two more penalties, both of them, to try to make up any spots. It's just, uh, that's, a, that's a tough time. You know he's got to be extremely frustrated. He's got the speed. He's very capable. He just needs to clean up those penalties and whatnot. That'd be one thing going into the off season that I'd be looking at frozen if i was 46 how can i not shoot myself in the foot because that's been the story for him for well since he started was penalties and all this other stuff so <clears throat> my fo my focus would be how am i not going to get penalties how am i going to keep it in the track limits during the rain conditions, sunny conditions, whatever condition that you can possibly think of and, and go through that time and time again on how I'm supposed to handle it. And I think the more he works on that throughout the off season, the better uh, for him because he'll be able to uh, get the results like we see from Ferrari and uh, other drivers because if it wasn't for all these penalties, Right now, I mean, he's got a little bit of a gap to second, but we would be considering him uh, winning this race. But he's hurt himself so much to where he's, okay, third. I mean, Leaf Justin might catch you by penalties, but you never want to leave penalties as your deciding factor of where you're finishing tonight. Yeah, I think uh, that that's the hardest thing for me, I would think, as a driver going in here. Being new to F1 is the penalties. Running, uh, running a race and seeing that you're P3 right now, but if you have someone or a couple of people directly behind you, that your spot is no longer a thing. You're going to lose those spots just based on penalties. So I, I can see that being a frustration that hopefully... He'll want to work on in the off season because, like I said, he's got the speed. He just needs to uh, clean up the penalties, and we will see him get those wins in no time. David, I see you out there. Yes, please tell me later. I hope it's uh, something good. Ferrari Nut has got Kerr point four behind, so these guys very, very close. And I see I got kicked out of the party, so we'll join that. Very close for these drivers, uh, so that could be a change for position very shortly. Both have a three-second time penalty, so they're on even playing field currently. I don't know if it's just the car slipping around or if he's actually doing it, but Ferrari's actually changing uh, his line a bit. He uh, went around a few corners a little wider than what your normal line was. And it's kind of, kind of, I, I don't want to say it gained him some, but I wouldn't say that it necessarily uh, drawed him neutral, though. But another thing to keep an eye out, Frozen, is you can really, you can keep on the racing line with these tires. But the question is, is how slick is it? How, what your tires are? Because that's pretty much what it comes down to is... Hey, I have mediums, and right now the racing line might need the full-on wets. Who knows? So let me go 
take the long way around and see if that works for my car better than just racing the regular racing line. Yeah, you gotta kind of play around with things. Uh, I don't know, it can be challenging to try to do that to see what works because you can either gain time, but you're so afraid to lose that time when someone is that close to you. Uh, so it can be a fine line to draw and how much you're gonna play with that line and what you're gonna do and how long are you gonna try it for? track is going to be changing especially in these conditions so these guys will have to stay on top of it it's lap 29 of 36 chloe i see you out there if kerr gets this win tonight it's going to be his third win of the season Ferrari nut is already the champion but if he gets this win tonight which he is in the lead it will be his eighth win of the season and z46 Currently sitting P3 is about uh, just under five seconds behind. And really, it'll be his solo constructor's title if he uh, comes out on top here of 46 tonight. So uh, yeah, more than that? just winning a race, but to be able to do it by yourself and winning a constructor's title is, a no is one uh, thing in itself. So... Uh, of course, we got to finish the race. Who knows? Maybe Ferrari wrecks it, goes 40, 30 seconds down in time. Maybe. Who knows? But uh, I say he's pretty much got it in the bag. I mean, we got five, six, seven laps left. So uh, a lot can happen, especially at a rain like a race like this. So you just got to buckle down get behind that wheel and race that car listen to her make sure she's make sure you listen to her feedback because one wrong move and your car is going to say hello to the wall absolutely it's going to be close 31 of 36 ferrari not three second penalty kerr three second penalty Anything can happen between the two. I mean, we've seen Ferrari not run into a couple of issues where uh, he's gotten loose, lost some time. And at one point, he lost so much time from getting loose or whatever happened to him. I missed what happened. But uh, Z46 was able to make the pass for the lead. And Ferrari not had a pretty sizable lead at that time. So anything can happen. And we, usually when we say that, it does happen. So we'll see. Take a look. We got Justin in fourth, J Mac in fifth. We have Jacob in sixth. Uh, that if you guys have not seen that battle between J Mac, Jacob, and Sober David, uh, once this video has ended, you guys will have to go back and look at it. It was just so phenomenal for that battle that they had. Hokey fan is going to be in eighth, Dion in ninth, and Shames is going to be P10. And we only have three drivers without a penalty and Jacob he's got nine seconds of penalties on the board currently that was a great battle that you brought up but I know of a battle that was even more interesting than what we had with that you want to know what the which one I'm talking about I do want to know well there was two last season uh, I was a part of one of them at Miami between i think it was i don't remember which one it was it was one of the mclarens and the and polish actually at miami when we were uh right behind one another and i was missing a part of a wing and i was holding them off and then this race last season when jacob was coming from the back of the pack trying to beat mayor for the championship so definitely some great racing but those two really stick out to me as far as our uh race battling yeah we've had a lot of great battles out there so really fun to watch and shames he makes a pass over dion that's going to be for p9 and david that is perfectly fine you can send me a message on xbox wherever you wherever you can sounds good dion and pit lane and making his way out but ferrari nut lap 33 of 36 this race is quickly winding down here her in second but he's 2.1 back that gap is increasing just enough 
I'm, yeah, I'm heartbroken for Z again, man. I'll tell you what. It's one of those races. Uh, a what if. Another what if. I'm definitely going to be... I need to work on this during my doll off season ordeal. And then start fresh come season eight because... He's got the pace, he's got the talent to be able to beat these drivers, but it's just been, like we've said, inf self-inflicted wounds that's been hurting him. And it's been those wounds that have cost him first place, second podium, so on and so forth. So for him, like I said, my mindset would be, penalties stay within the track limits learn the track limits on each turn because i mean sometimes there's some that don't that don't even make sense and there's times that do make sense but you just can't be going into a race practice a half a week or a week and go okay well i know it some of these tracks with their track limits you cannot afford to do that i try to practice two weeks in advance for when i'm racing so just to know, just get the feel of what it's like during the rain. What's it like during the dries? You know, what do I need to be uh, weary of when I'm out there uh, on Wednesday nights? So the fact that he needs to really buckle down is a good sign for me because if he does uh, start cleaning up he, uh, the penalties, the self-inflicted wounds frozen, that tells me he's really gotten down, dug in, and found out what he was doing and what the game likes compared to what he was doing and try to still set fast times. Yeah, I feel like a lot of his uh, thing is that he gets really aggressive and is in the moment of the battles and trying to keep up or pass his competitors. And you tend to make mistakes when you're in the heat of the moment when... Uh, you're not used to having those battles all the time. And I, I think that could be part of it because once we see him outside of that, he's clean. He does not get those penalties. He races his line. That's all you have to worry about. But once you put those other circumstances in, that's when things get a little bit trickier. And uh, I think, you know, just competitively, competitively racing around others, uh, that tide of racing, I think that would help him. Lap 35 of 36. Ferrari Nut 2.2 in front of Kerr. They both have a three second time penalty. Ferrari Nut is going to have to have something happen. Get loose. I, I don't know. Something is going to have to happen in order for Kerr to make that pass for his third win of the season. It is the finale. Ferrari Nut has captured the uh, championship. And I do believe at this point, the constructor standings, unless something crazy happens, but it is his for the taking. Well, Frozen, it's the final lap. My suggestion is let's put our cameras on that Alpha Tari and let's do a little own crank it up moment. Here he goes, lap 36. I'll let you guys enjoy the final lap. Final time this season. He's coming out of sector two into sector three. Just a couple of more corners before he is crowned the winner of Brazil here tonight after 36 laps. Gets the championship, gets the constructor standings championship. A huge congratulations to Ferrari Nut. What an incredible season. Eight wins. This season for Ferrari Nut. Huge congratulations. Kerr is going to finish out second. 
Here we go. Bringing Z home is going to be a podium finish for him. I believe Justin is going to be back there. We'll let him come on home. But man, what a season. What a race for Ferrari Nut. Great job to these drivers. Justin coming around the final couple of corners. We're going to bring the rest of these guys home. He's going to get a fourth finish. Great job for him. Yeah, what a win. I mean, he's just so competitive. We've seen him in every league out there for SMB. Uh, as far as open wheel goes, we've been in the F1, the IndyCar series, and he's just always so competitive. It's great to see. And uh, RC, I'm going to get you in the party here. Well, actually, if you can just go over to Justin's party and... I'll, I'll send you an invite if you can't get in there. And we'll do the invite, the interviews over there. <laughs> here we go. I went like all that. All right, we're gonna do the interviews oh, in here, you guys, oh, and we'll geez. let anyone who wants to talk talk. Oh no. However, uh, let me get RC in here. He's gonna help give oh, interviews, no. but man. What a race out there. Ferrari not getting it done for the championship. He already had that a while ago. <laughs> All right, let's get him in here. But Ferrari nuts. Okay, take it through the race here. We have you as the winner. Your eighth win yeah, of the cool. season. Listen to these guys. Uh, what happened to you earlier on? We saw something happen. Uh, you got loose. Tell us what happened in your race. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Um you know, too much rear brake bias on a wet track kind of thing. Um, you know, that corner is always notorious for that, even in the dry. So, eh, just got a bit sideways, had to basically just lock it down and get going again. So, eh, nothing, no big deal. Um, had fun racing with uh, Z and Kerr in the uh, in the wet there. You know, obviously the race didn't quite go to the plan. We had half a grid and then obviously the rain, but, you know, still fun. Still, uh, still technically did the last first challenge, but nah, uh, wasn't exactly how it was intended. So, um, definitely had the fastest car straight line out of the top three. I, I don't know if you were on board with me when it happened. It was like right as the rain started to fall, but I passed both of them in the same DRS zone. I did see that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was um, very tight. Definitely had the fastest car. Definitely had the fastest car down the front straight out of the front bumpers. So, um, I feel like that helped because all I had to do really do was just park it basically and stay on the racing line and they really couldn't do much unless they just sent it so well you had you had a great season a great race i congratulate you on the championship the constructor standing uh championship here and your eighth win of the season great job out there thank you very much all right p2 is going to be kerr rc you want to give him an interview Kerr, Kerr, you just started second, you finished second, a neutral day as I call it, but uh, just take me through your race and uh, what you think you could have done better, worse, and uh, how you could might have even won the race tonight. Um, maybe a little bit more rain, maybe we could have got to the wets, might have had something for them, but uh, in the dries we were pretty slow, I was pretty slow in straight line, wings were, had quite a bit of wing. Um, didn't really have any practice, so I kind of just grabbed the setup and went. And uh, obviously, put too much wing on it. And uh, we were a dump truck in a straight line, but it helped in the middle sector. But um, I mean, when the rain started, I started catching them and they started racing pretty hard. So I didn't really think I'd ever have a chance to win, but we got close and um, you know, it was fun. Well, always fun to watch all of you's race tonight. Just kind of a forward of where you're at as far as season eight is going where you think uh 24 is what we're going to do for season eight just give me your view on that um i'm hoping they make the game better by the time we get to it um but overall i, I don't know i mean we got a great great field here i mean ferrari kind of was the first staff of the league so everybody's kind of chasing him so but overall i think it'll be good we got a good field for next season 
and it's gonna be good to it's gonna be fun to watch uh, this field start from scratch. Everyone uh, being here on race one and competing throughout the season. Uh, P two might not be P one, but it's the bet. It's the next bet. So congratulations on the finish, and uh, uh, hopefully we'll see you again next season. Frozen, back over to you. All right, uh, third. It is going to be Z46. <sighs> Another race we thought you might be able to go for the win. You have the speed. Uh, you have the consistency with your speed. It's those penalties. Take us through your race and how it went for you tonight. Uh, honestly, it was pretty solid. I mean, in qualifying, I kind of just got an iffy lap down. Didn't It was on a... You know, I threw away the first lap on the socks and just recharged the battery, went for a second one. Uh, I mean, the race was pretty solid. I mean, I felt like I was killing it on the hards. I mean, I made a couple tweaks to the way I drive the car, and it seems to have helped with uh, tuning those tires up. I mean, I still need to work on the race starts. As I don't know if I've maintained a single pull position into turn one yet this year, but... Uh, I mean, rain started cam coming down. I was keeping with Ferrari, which was the goal, uh, you know... We went over the enters. I got a pit lane penalty somehow. I'm not really sure. It was like 99% sure I was under the speed limit. Uh, I was Ferrari for about what felt like the entirety of that stint once I caught up. And then I uh, pit and went 20 miles an hour and got a speeding penalty. So the game just, I don't know, wasn't having it with me today. But yeah, I just kind of backed it off for the rest of the race. Just went into race management and brought it home with no more penalties. Yeah, I... You, you did great. I'm still hoping for a win for you uh, for next season. And that brings me to my next question. Will we see you next season? Yes. Okay. That good. will be occurring as well. And hopefully if they fix F124, because it is undrivable at the moment, like I can't find any ounce of consistency in the car. Yeah. I, I know a lot of dr drivers feel that way. So it's going to be hopefully an issue that is fixed by that time. If not, uh, you may see us out here again. We'll see what Dion decides and what everyone decides. But uh, it's been a heck of a season, and you did a great job. Thank you. All right. For our viewers, I'm going to bring it over. I know David. Uh, I want to talk to David, and he can only do Discord. So we're going to jump over there real quick. David, you've had a lot of fans out here this season. You've done phenomenal. We've seen a lot of growth from you. Uh, how do you see your season going and how, how it went for you? I like that I was getting a lot of the sympathy votes in the chat, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, um, um, <clears throat> I, I thought it was a good season. Um, yeah, I know, I like I said, I was kind of hoping that uh, the interviews I would have would have been more for uh, better circumstances, not crashing out and all that. But um, uh, yeah, I like <clears throat> this season. Like I said last time, I was using this to gauge where I am. Uh, Two goals this season, get a top five, finish top ten as drivers. Got on both. So I definitely take that as a, a two thumbs up for the season. Absolutely. I know. I, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, you around next season again. Of course, we've had you season after season. Uh, so it's been always fun. And like I said, to see that growth, I mean, it's just so fun to watch. And I'm excited to see what you bring to the track next season. I'll, I, I will say, I'll be, I'll be interested to see how things are next season. Especially if um, uh, if we do go on to 24 because of all the talks have been going on, how the game's changed and everything like that. Um, but I, th I, th I think it was just the case this season of um, me just putting, putting more time time behind the wheel and on the track. Like not, I know me compared to everybody else, especially like the top five or six, because like everybody is effectively like semi-pro, always on iRacing, doing NASCAR and all that, so, like, I'm definitely not up there. Um, considering where I am, um, I, 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 feel, I feel like I'm in a good spot. Um, do I see myself going for wins anytime soon? Probably not, but um, hopefully, gradually um, climb up, and you never know. Just I, but I, can't, I can't win if I'm not in, so go for it's it. true. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on another great season, David. It's always great seeing you out there. I, I will actually one more thing, and yes. this is just me kissing my excuse someone's backside. <laughs> my um uh teammate, Shames, coming in here. I know like he's like 
he he was trying his best here. I know um, not all the results haven't gone his way. Did like he finally be able to get a couple points finishes um the last two races? Yes, got ninth here. Um, I hope you know, I do hope that um good things coming his way. Hopefully he himself can get some some upgrades, some equipment upgrades as well. So hopefully you see him here next week and uh, next week next year and um. I don't know if we can see see the see the horses flying uh, next season again. I hope I'm so. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. All right, David. Thank you so much. Thanks very much, and thanks for doing the streams again. Always enjoyable to watch them. Anytime. All right. Next up, Dion. You know what? He is uh, the owner of this league. Dion, we've seen you out there. You're always having fun. Take us through your season. How was it? What did you enjoy the most? <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, this season was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dion. Um, you know, you guys cracked me up with that because we're looking, you know, at points. You have four points on the board, so hey, it could be worse. You've gotten some points. I can tell you I would probably get no points ever. So at least you have done that. And I think you've had a few good races at least, right? No. <laughs> and that is Dion, you guys. Yes, he's a riot. All right, Dion. <laughs> I want to thank you for putting on another great season, though. It's season seven. It's been a heck of a season. So competitive. Probably one of our most competitive yet. Just a ton of battles throughout the field, race after race. So a huge thank you for you to put this all on and make it all happen. Thank you for broadcasting <laughs> for Anytime, Dion. We'll see you next season. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not going to put you guys on the spot. So I would love to interview all of you if you want an interview. So are you guys all down for one? Oh, dear. That's asking for a lot. Just all of us just talk and <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to Jacob. Jacob, you've had another competitive season. Last season, we just saw uh, just win after win and so competitive with your teammate. This season, what was your goals and what were you able to accomplish for this season? Uh, I wanted uh, Jarrett and I to, I mean, compete with whoever we could, which we found out fifth place was going to be uh, all, all ours. And, there not actually be much competition, but coming into the season, I didn't really expect to do so well. And it turns out there were five or six guys. It seemed like each week that just were very tough on pace. So that was just the story for me being stuck in the middle more than last year. I could fight Tim and Kerr every race. So each season and each game is just its own different thing. So I learned that this season tough, but I mean, had fun trying, I'll say. Absolutely. And I, I feel like you are in the group where we've seen so many battles out there that have been so fun to watch. There's usually about, I don't know, four to five of you that just uh, are side by side and nose to tail. So you've always put on a very great show out there and very competitive. So I just want to say to you also, congratulations. It's been a hell of a season watching you out there. And uh, I'm looking forward to next season. But I have to ask, what was your favorite race this season or your favorite battle? What was your favorite thing? Well, Monica was turning out okay. I could have had, I think, second and then uh, smacked a wall. <laughs> was the yeah. only reason that stopped it. But that race was actually going pretty decent. Um, uh, what was, I forget the name of it. It's that bike track. It's uh, Qatar. We had five or six of us that were nose to tail, and that was that was probably the best race this season was Qatar. Yeah, that was the really battle for fun the to win watch. being so close, and I mean I didn't mind being <laughs> my usual fifth or sixth the season in that race, even whenever so many of us were so close, and that was fun. Right. Yeah, that was a heck of a battle, and uh, I know a couple of drivers are not looking forward to 2024, the state that it's in. How do you feel about it? Are you feeling that same way currently? Well. We, it seems like the reliable feedback is the game is not good right now. Like we hear a lot of the same that it just doesn't work like a typical F1 game does. So 
that is Fair disappointing, enough. but at least we do have a game right now that we all have. So I don't, the way I see it, we don't really need 24 at the time being. Uh, one day it'll go on Game Pass, maybe we'll play it. But um, honestly, not really worried about 24 right now. Like, we'll see in the future if that's going to be a thing. Uh, if we run more on 23, uh, I would be down to practice and do some more races on here, though. I I agree with you. So it's been fun. Whatever the and guys want to do. Yeah. I mean, no matter where you guys go, it's going to be fun. So I'm with you on that one. Congratulations on the season. I, I can't wait to see whatever we do next season and how you're running out there. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, Justin. Again, you are always in those battles, man. I'll tell you what, Jacob, you, uh, J Mac, and a few others just always out there. So I got to ask, what were your goals this season? Did you accomplish them? And what was your favorite part of the season? <laughs> All right. You got you to gotta copy, Justin. All right, moving on. Rangers. We'll go on to Rangers. I don't want to put everyone on the spot, but uh, you know what? We saw him all over the track here. We've seen him winning races. We've seen him uh, winning championships. So he's been, we've seen him pretty much everywhere. You've been really fun to watch. I'll tell you what, when you're on it, you are absolutely on it. And it is so hard to make a pass on you. So how was your season overall? And uh, what did you think about 2023 as a game? A tough crowd. It is a tough crowd. Apparently, no one likes anything. I'm still here. <laughs> I almost thought that, again. like, I got disconnected from the party. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> no, I never said I wanted. I just said I'm still here. What? All There's right, Justin. There's Justin. Justin. Jordan, we're going to you. Yo. Oh, we're going You're to another hey, one that is always with the crazy battles out there. Always competitive. <laughs> So I got to ask, I? yes, you are, <laughs> except, you know, when I saw you at the start of this race, I did notice, you know, you, you got a little backwards into the wall. So not quite sure what happened there. But besides that, you're always oh, very competitive. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, we see you in those battles. So I got to ask, what was your favorite battle throughout the season and your favorite track? I don't know, honestly, I mean, the best like battle I had was probably today because, I mean, for about two, three, four straight laps, me and Jacob were side by side at some point during it. And I was, I mean, David was with us there as well. So, I mean, that was honestly probably one of the more competitive, <laughs> continuous, never ending battles I've been in. But, uh, I don't know what my favorite race was. Honestly, maybe Imola, cause I actually was pretty quick on speed or decently like kind of best of the rest ish behind the 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 all the all the tryhards so Freaks. i was pretty happy with that yeah <laughs> yeah they uh, finished fifth in that race maybe it was sixth i don't know i don't remember you guys have crazy minds when it comes to like remembering where you finish and what races i think it's oh. awesome but uh yeah you know what we we had a lot of camera time on you guys in that battle tonight that uh, another phenomenal battle between you and Jacob and uh, Sober David was definitely in that. And uh, what happened? I missed the part. What happened with uh, you and David? I got into into one. I or actually I had a bad exit of the final corner, and that allowed Jacob. I mean, he was like nine tenths back, and he was able to get the DR. Yeah, probably not that far, but it looked like a massive gap yeah. that he was able to make up. And we. I probably shouldn't have tried to battle him into the corner, but we were, I mean, we were, at that point, I was just in let's have fun mode. And so I, I tried challenging him into the corner and I did a decent job, but it just wouldn't rotate. The car wouldn't rotate. And then I got in kind of into the grass and in two and just couldn't, couldn't get it to, to turn in the rear. Finally. I mean, I had so much wheel cranked in it, trying to make it work. It finally just did a lazy spin and, and, there's nowhere for David to go and he slammed into my rear. So that was just me losing talent. Honestly, just 
getting over my skis, just trying to battle. But uh, definitely talk, happens, especially after after the last race, because me and him got together in that one as well, and that in that completely ruined his race. So that that kind of sucks that that we got into each other two weeks in a row, and that this one this week especially was completely and totally my fault. So, uh, but. I don't I don't like making mistakes, but I especially hate making them whenever it it hurts another person's race. That always sucks. Like I I still vividly remember Australia when I sent Jacob to the Shadow Realm <laughs> on the final restart. So Yeah. But yeah, that kinda sucked. But other than that, I had mostly fun. It was kind of nice getting a, a rain race, getting something completely different uh for the for the finale. Because uh, I don't think I don't think I'd really been a part of a a real heavy duty hardcore rain race, so to finally be a part of one was uh was enjoyable. Absolutely. Well, like I said, you've been in- involved in a lot of battles throughout the season, so uh, always helping and making those races interesting and fun to watch for people in the booth and viewers. So congratulations on another great season out there. It's been fun, and uh, can't wait to see what you do out there next season. You know what? We'll probably do next season what we did this season, and that's show up cold turkey and try not to kill anyone. That'll be our <laughs> goals. I mean, it worked pretty well for you this season, so fair enough. All right, Justin, are you still there? He left nope. me. <laughs> All right. Okay, you know what? I'm going to tell you, you almost missed your interview you always miss your interview something always happens and you almost missed it this time too but again you are one of the drivers that always have a crazy battle so i have to ask what was your favorite battle this season and uh did you have any goals and did you meet those um for specific battle i honestly would have no idea uh i remember uh, Australia pretty vividly that that I felt like I was in like a four car battle from start to finish of the race so I'd say probably that entire race as like one battle is the one that like sticks out in my head over the rest but uh, as far as what you say expectations um, probably to match what I've done in previous seasons which just because this field is probably the strongest it's been in a long time, I didn't really do. But I'd say to scale, I probably met exact like right around where I was expecting to be. So I'd say I'm content with how things went. I would say, yeah, you finished off the season very, very strong. So congratulations on another great season. How do you feel about 2024? I don't know that I've ever asked you that. Have you tried it? Uh, I don't think you have. I'm assuming the game you're talking about, I have yes. not tried it. Okay, all right. I've heard some very interesting things about it, but... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see for sure what we do for that. But uh, that's it for this season, you guys. It's been a crazy season. We are more than likely going to do uh, some kind of series in the off season, probably on 2023. I would imagine, but uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in week after week for being part of uh, the fun. And I know some of you drivers or some of you viewers out there have driven in the league a couple of times. So thank you for that. And thank you to all the drivers that I'm chatting with right now for being part of the league. It's always fun. And I love watching the growth. So I'm excited to see wherever we end up next season, what you guys do, because I think you're all awesome. But uh, yeah, it's been fun. We'll see you guys next season.